Hello, Sam Deniff here, UAV strategist for Copters. Uh, today we're going to look at a common upgrade path for drones for commercial operators. So we have the Mavic Pro here, uh, and then the Matrice 210 UAV here. So very different platforms, one obviously far larger and far, far more commercial than the other, but this is much more of a common starter drone. So the benefits and the reasons why you'd upgrade from a Mavic up to something like a Matrice, uh, the main ones would be to look at things like the weatherproofing within the Matrice 210. So this has an IP rating of 43. The Mavic and the Mavic series don't have any IP rating at all. So the Matrice 210 can fly in far worse weather, uh, up to sort of medium rain and stronger winds than the Mavic series as well. This means that especially in the UK you can fly for much longer periods, especially within the winter months, whereas with one of these you would be grounded and potentially losing out on, on work and, and downtime. The Matrice 210 also can mount dual cameras, which you can see on the setup here. So we've got the X-T2 and the Z30. When you compare that to something like a Mavic uh, or a Phantom, you've got one camera built in at the front, and that's all you have that can't be swapped out or upgraded at any point. With the Matrice 210's removable payloads, you have the ability to upgrade the cameras as the market demands. If a new version of a thermal camera with higher resolution or a specific, say, multi-spectral sensor that you need for your applications is released, with the Matrice 210, you can add those on to the gimbals you already have. With something like the Mavic, you're stuck with that camera and you can't upgrade and move forwards as your drone business move forwards. So it is limited in terms of the upgrades and its uh, sort of longevity as a, as a system, which means that the range of applications goes from simple photography and very basic inspection with something like the Mavic to really high-end inspection-based work, uh, even up to search and rescue applications for police and fire with a unit like this as well. You also have a much larger and more complex uh, operating system with the Matrice 210. So you'll use the Matrice Sendence controller with the Crystal Sky screen compared to the small handheld Mavic controller and typically a smartphone or small screen in with that as well. So you've got much more in terms of usability and applications based on the control system uh, that you've got with the drone. It's also worth noting with the Matrice 210, you've got an FPV camera and you've got beacons and other safety measures that are in place as well. It lends itself much better to being used by a dual operator system, which is not something you can really do with something like the Mavic. So if your drone team is expanding or you're training more people, it's worth looking at a larger system that can incorporate dual operators uh, as well. The Matrice 210 has dual battery systems. They're self-heating batteries. So you put two batteries into the back of the drone. This gives you a level of redundancy in terms of the power supply. And it also means you can fly it in worse conditions because the batteries will heat themselves if they can't be operated. The system also has a dual IMU. So you've got IMU redundancy, which means that you don't have to worry about the drone being sort of twitchy uh, or unbalanced in the air. It's much more stable. And along with features like AirSense, which detect light aircraft in the area, and the beacon on top of the drone, you can be much more secure in the fact that you're going to be safe while you're flying. Compare it to a smaller system with less safety features, a single battery, maybe a slightly higher chance of uh, something going wrong. Uh, you want a system that's going to be more capable and safe as you develop your drone business. The only real downsides in terms of a larger system like this would be, firstly, obviously the price. It is a lot more expensive than something like the Mavic but obviously that's built into the amount of days of the year you can use it and also the massively extended applications. The other thing would be the portability. So the Mavic is very easy to place in the back of a car, uh, carry on long shoots, etc. Whereas the Matrice 210, it is on a wheeled case, which is easy to transport, but it is a fair bit larger. And obviously you wouldn't want to be carrying it, uh, you know, a couple of miles over, over rough terrain. So all in all, although there are a few downsides with the Matrice, number one being the cost and two being the portability, uh, the range of applications it can cover are much greater than you'd get with something like the Mavic. It makes far more sense if you're looking to expand your applications to go for a larger platform that's far more capable than sticking with something like this, which is potentially going to limit your business as it grows. If you want any more information uh, on a drone such as the Matrice 210 or any of the Matrice series, and if you're interested in upgrading from something like the Mavic, please get in touch with the Copters and the Copters team. Thank you very much. Thank you.